You know, we're here at Harvard with uh, my friend and colleague, Mark Esposito, who's teaching a course here in, in systems thinking. And I always find it interesting to combine the two, uh, systems thinking and leadership. So let's talk a little bit about that. Well, I think uh, what we experienced tonight was trying to really take uh, John's experience on leadership storytelling uh, and story of identities and sort of like, uh, sort of like put them uh, in the context of systems with a class that has been trying to develop mapping, systemic perspective, develop a lot of the language that can help them see, sort of like what, what Lloyd would call the invisibility of stuff. Um, and I think the experiment was, was uh, great because I think we, we noticed that there are so many it's like underpinning synergy in the way we both act and think that yeah. that generates I mean, greater value than this is what we have, no. that's what I perceived. I thought, I thought it was a lot of fun, and, I, and every time we do these things, I learn a little bit more about what you do, and I see more connections, and I think that's really interesting. You know, I always say that leaders are, are conceptual thinkers, mm -hmm. and they're good at navigating complex adaptive systems, mm -hmm. and more and more I find that we kind of, you know, I apply it to leadership, and you do it more. To complexity, and, and, and this, and, this and to complexity, but I, I think it's... It's almost different vocabulary for the Absolutely. same phenomenon. Absolutely. And I think that's really interesting. I think uh, what it was uh, uh, sort of like groundbreaking tonight and, and the lesson is when you said that you know, those people that we can call leaders, uh, they are people that have been able to process their experiences better than yeah. other people. And I think we, we never really thought about that. We, we always uh, have seen things more from the external perspective of the ability to, to map the system rather than the ability for individual to uh, drive the system from the inside out. And I think this is something they will uh, bear in their mind is this ability to process experience. And we'll be using more and more because then we start having not only a vocabulary, but also we're gonna have uh, so like structures that are coming with every single person that came to this class. So I think tonight we, we sort of like have enhanced or actually increased the bar. Uh, yeah, even more. Well, that's great. And I, I, I found it really interesting that you're asking them to write biographies that are evolving. What did yeah. you call that? The dynamic, that dynamic bi biography. The dynamic biographies. Because a dynamic biography to me is about uh, about what I teach all the time. It's process your experience, make your stance, and discover who you are and, and, and the influence you want to have. Yeah, and, and so we started the class one. This was the prerequisite of the class. Yeah. And so everybody comes with very so like clean and linear biography, mainly eliciting what they have done. Yeah. And soon in this class, they understand that that is really not important to us. So they start understanding there is this whole fluidity around life. Yeah. And so they, they map themselves according to contests, societal fabric, parents, major spirits to change their life. And so what we have done in the first week, we were sometime cold calling and somebody was coming and showing the map of their life. And I think tonight we, we showed them that first it was not just an exercise. It can be called upon every time. Yeah. And it's a work in progress. Yeah, and I think it's great. And let's keep going on this. Absolutely. It's be a lot of fun. So okay. we, we will uh, try to do something in the fall yeah. in this, uh, on this line. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank great. you. Thanks a lot.